What? No, teddy bear. It's not what you think. Have you been sleeping with other stuffed animals behind my back? What? No, I would never do such a thing to you. Get out of here! Get out of here and never come back! But, but, it's my bedroom. I said get out! Well, guess it's sleeping in the guest room again. Life is hard. Check it out, boys and girls. My all-in-one sleeping burrito. For when the teddy bear or the wife kick me out. Let's see what we have inside. Ah. How do I open it? Oh yeah, right. This way. All right, so as you can see, the entire roll is just a tarp, a sleeping bag, and a foam mat to sleep on. Inside the sleeping bag, we have a ready ridge line with two prusiks attached to it, and oh, some metal spikes to set it all up. To pack it up, first of all, we are going to well, make it waterproof, or at least water resistant, by sealing it using the tarp. So we will fold the tarp over the sleeping bag and the foam mat. First from the up and down, and then from the sides. This is really not comfortable when it is done with one hand, but I mean, the things we do for likes, right? Okay, so now everything is mummied up. Then we roll it together. Now we wrap it all tightly together as flat as we can you may notice that i'm using both hands to to wrap the roll so i bet you're wondering what is holding the phone well trust me you don't want to know a final product should look something like this a burrito like waterproof structure with our entire shelter system inside of it now how do we tie it all together that's the fun part okay so first you're going to need a rope with a loop at one end once we have the rope and the loop all we are going to do is to thread the rope around the roll and inside the loop. That way we can tighten it all up from one side. Yeah. Now that we have our loop ready, we are going to pull the rope across the roll and we are going to make what is called a p-loop. Now, yeah, I know it sounds bad, but it's not like that. We will create another loop. Ah, okay, unfortunate accident, but everything is all right. So now that we have enough rope, we will put the roll through this new loop like this. And again, Wait. Tighten it all together. Yeah. That's right. There. Now what we have is two horizontal loops that tighten it from every side. 
which is exactly what we want. Now we go, we take the rope to the other side and we come here. Here we'll do a really, well, funny knot. It goes over, under, over again, and under again. And as you see, the roll is now one stable structure. If we go back to the other rope here, this is our original loop, so to speak, we do the same knot over, under, over, and under. There we go. And now we take what remains, remains of a rope and pull it to our original first loop. We tighten it all up and we finish it with an easy, what's going on here, with a simple pull knot. So that if we need, we can just pull on this and pretty much untie everything. Now we have a shelter roll that is largely waterproof, watertight, I could say, it can go easily and be attached to the outside of your pack and thus save you a lot of precious space. And well, it's pretty modular, so you can just take it and attach to any backpack you have. I love this setup. Okay, so that's all, folks. Uh, did you like it? What do you think about it? How do you carry your shelter? If you have any ideas, suggestions, anything, well, feel free to write in the comments. See ya!